What are Elon Musk and NASA currently testing on their new interplanetary transport system vessel? Has Elon Musk and NASA just revealed a rocket that defies physics and might transport humans to Mars in weeks rather than months? What exactly is this rocket? How does it work? Why it could be a game changer for space travel? Hey folks, welcome back to the future space. In this video, we are going to find out about the new rocket engine just revealed by Elon Musk and NASA and let us dive in. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss any of our amazing videos. And let's begin. So what actually is this rocket and its mission? Elon Musk and NASA just announced the Lightspeed Engine, a new rocket that goes against the laws of physics and could get us to Mars in weeks instead of months. They are now putting it to the test on the Interplanetary Transport System, their new spaceship, to design a disruptive engine in-house that would reduce launch expenses. The goal is $5 million. NASA calls it a breakthrough, and Elon Musk describes it as incredible. Why? Because a tiny team of NASA engineers recently tested what is being labeled a new form of rocket engine that is significantly more efficient than anything currently on Earth. And you might be wondering, how can one top something like that? What if I told you there are plans to improve it even more, much improved? NASA has just successfully tested a new engine that promises to make space travel less expensive and faster. Most military and commercial rockets now employ chemical fuels that must be manufactured on Earth and then put into rocket boosters before launch. This is not only costly and difficult, but it also restricts the amount of weight that can be raised off the Earth's surface. It runs on a different type of fuel, electricity, the kind of you plugs into a wall socket. How the rocket is different Elon Musk and a team of NASA scientists released their design for the Raptor, a new rocket, in September. It can sustain over 500,000 pounds of force and runs on liquid methane rather than typical kerosene, resulting in 30% less carbon dioxide emissions. However, before it can be launched into orbit, engineers must first demonstrate that it works on Earth. In an interview with Mashable, Steve Jersick, Associate Administrator of NASA's Space Technology Mission Directorate said, I'm hopeful that we'll be able to undertake short flights, sort of up and down flights, maybe somewhere in the first part of next year. So what are they constructing? It's essentially a massive super heavy lift launch vehicle and booster rocket pair capable of launching 170 metric tons into low Earth orbit. To put this into perspective, Falcon Heavy, SpaceX's newly operational heavy lift rocket, can lift 54 metric tons. This means that a single Raptor engine may theoretically substitute all three first stage Merlin engines now utilized on the Falcon 9 launch vehicle. The Raptor is also unique in that it will drive on liquid methane rather than kerosene, which has been utilized since the 1950s. Methane is more environmentally friendly and easier to create than conventional rocket fuel, but it is also incredibly complex to handle. Because of the amount of energy required to liquefy methane, traditional rocket engines cannot use it as a propellant. They would burn up due to their inability to withstand such high pressure and heat. However, SpaceX appears to be on the verge of figuring out how to harness that power with Raptor. The experimental engine produces 420,000 pounds of thrust, utilizing methane as fuel and liquid oxygen as an oxidizer, well beyond existing U.S. standards. What is the source of power? The EM drive generates propulsion by bouncing microwaves back and forth inside a confined chamber. The electromagnetic fields produced by these back and forths cause an opposite and equal, creating acceleration in one direction. To power it, you must use solar energy or another type of external energy source, which could be another spacecraft or even a base station receiving radio waves. But so far, experiments with systems like these haven't been able to make enough force to overcome drag, the force that slows an object down caused by friction between air molecules as it moves through them or make any meaningful changes to its path. And now, scientists studying under NASA funding have discovered that, at least in some cases, what was thought to be impossible is actually attainable. Eagle Works Laboratories has tested an electromagnetic drive in conditions that are similar to what you might find in deep space. They also say that these tests indicate a thrust-to-power ratio of 1 to 4, which is more than any of their calculations projected with such a device and could open up new avenues for deep space travel. Other scientists haven't yet confirmed the results, so we won't know if they can be repeated until independent teams get their own EM drives and run their own tests, which should happen in 2017. The EM drive is a controversial device. It violates Newton's third law, which asserts that everything has an equal and opposite reaction. 
so if you fire anything from a rocket ship, it will be propelled in another direction even if it is only air particles hitting off that thing when it leaves. The EM drive, on the other hand, only provides push in one direction. How does it work? Elon Musk is making science fiction a little bit more like real life. His company SpaceX says it has made and tested a thruster system that goes against the laws of physics. The rocket's propulsion system uses electrically charged gas to reach speeds of up to 65 kilometers per second, which is about 135,000 kilometers per hour. The engine is made of fuel tanks made of carbon fiber that are very light and have cold gas thrusters. It doesn't use any kind of fuel to move, so it doesn't send anything into space. Instead, Wired says that the engine makes thrust by speeding up superheated plasma with magnetic fields. Since there are no combustion fumes, this also means that there are no emissions. Electric thrusters are what these types of engines are called, but they work very differently than the ones used in SpaceX's Falcon 9 rockets. These thrusters move by pushing out pressurized gas. Electric thrusters, on the other hand, make a charged plasma that emits ions to move a ship forward. According to reports, SpaceX's electric engine is more powerful than traditional gridded ion thrusters and might power manned flights to Mars and beyond. It could also shorten the time it takes for cargo to get to space because it needs less propellant. This is important because propellants can be costly to launch into orbit. Technology is still being tested, and more work needs to be done on it before it can be used for space travel. NASA scientists believe it has potential, at least on paper, and have submitted it for peer assessment. Can we truly travel at such great speeds in space? Some people say it's impossible to travel quickly through space, but that hasn't stopped Elon Musk from saying he can do it. His plan is to make a machine that can run at the speed of light and get us to Mars in 70 days. Such an engine goes against the laws of physics and would mean going faster than 186,000 miles per second. Why is he doing it? Why did NASA decide to give him money for his idea? And what could we do in space if Elon can do what he says is possible? We could travel at the speed of light in a few ways, but now we need to understand how light works. As it moves through space, it interacts with every atom in its way. This slows things down and can even stop it if there is nothing to move. Due to these interactions, light can only go 186,000 miles per second, which is the fastest it can go through empty space. Since nothing can move faster than light without breaking the laws of physics, if we want to catch up with a faraway star in our lifetime, we have to find a way to get there other than going straight towards it. Some final thoughts on this speed light engine. Musk's engine is a huge step forward in how people can travel through space and a huge step forward for humanity as a whole. The technology could change the way we visit other planets, learn more about our solar system, and even leave our galaxy. If he was successful, he will be remembered as not only one of Silicon Valley's most famous people, but also a giant among scientists and engineers. Here are some important things to know about Elon Musk's engine and why it has been so hard for others to do before now. Hyperspeed travel has been possible for a long time, but it has always seemed like a far-fetched idea. To travel faster than light, which scientists call superluminal speed, you need a way to make an object move through space much faster than it does now. Physicists have known for a long time that the only ways to go faster than light is through a wormhole or a warp drive, but no one has ever been able to use either one. Even if the best people in many different fields worked on the problem, our most advanced technology couldn't reach those speeds. We knew what we had to do, but we couldn't figure out how to do it. But we may now know how to get there. Musk's new engine could have huge effects not only on space travel, but also on life on Earth. And that brings us to the end of the video. Feel free to let us know what you think about this video. And if you like this video, then please leave a like and subscribe to our channel for all things. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Goodbye.